Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit your fonts on your website through your admin panel. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. What you got to do is go to your dashboard, which is your, uh, your admin panel login, and in here, scroll down to where you see the thesis button and click on design options. When this page loads up, it'll bring you to this kind of page here and now on this page here's what you want to do you're gonna see it all closed like this hit this plus sign and now in the middle is the section that has all the fonts to your website you can see starting here at the top your body your, your uh, content area nav menu your header headlines I'll go through these shortly but here's one quick important thing there's a lot of other boxes with a lot of other stuff don't touch any of that stuff because it might change it not might it will change the settings that we've set up for your site specifically using our theme and our framework so if you touch anything you can mess it up and uh, that that won't be good for your site so um, anything I don't mention on this tutorial don't touch it or don't test and play with it all right instead ask us the question if there's something you're curious about or that you're trying to do so anyhow now um, here's the thing uh, see this asterisk that's basically saying denotes website website font and then G denotes a Google font directory font. Here's what it means. Anything that has a, a little asterisk means that it's pretty much safe to use on computer screens, meaning the font is going to be it's going to render clean on the on the internet on different browsers and different people's computers. If you go to one that doesn't have one, that doesn't have a uh, an asterisk next to it or a G, then likely what's going to happen is this font may not show a hundred percent proper on everyone's browsers but it will show up proper on on some but not all so keep that in mind so anyhow let's just show you what this is um, the body content area I'm not going to change the fonts it's pretty self-explanatory but you could and you could check it out but I want to explain what each section refers to the body and content area that refers to this font here you know pretty much your main font for the site what is your main font for your site all right that's what that refers to when it says your body and content area All right, what's the main font for your site overall now um, let's scroll down uh, don't do this by the way see how we have four, the sizes don't touch sizes of things remember only touch fonts so don't go to content area and change sizes now because you could mess things up All right. Um, now just let's go to nav menu that obviously refers to the text across here in your navigation menu let's keep scrolling down your header this is this this is the text you use for your site title meaning this text up here the text you use up here is your header text so whatever you change this to that's gonna that's gonna pull into this section here you notice on a lot of these it says inherited from body that means that it's pulling the font that you set here at the top under body alright so let's just go to keep going then the next one was tagline this is the same concept I showed you up here here's your tagline and now that's gonna pull from the header which means it's pulling from the body which means it's pulling from the one up here alright now let's keep going down the list we have headlines here's what headlines are alright you see here there's two options alright you have your your headline up here and then you have your sub headlines right here this refers to the following in your blog postings or your in your on your home page on your, any of your blog posting so pretty much your blog posting titles this is called your your headlines now your sub headlines are your smaller ones your h2's your h3 h4 and so forth so when you see this part here that says headlines that refers to your main blog titles and your sub headlines are the mini headlines that you use inside your blog post as such your mini headlines or sub headlines and your main headline here alright so now let's keep scrolling down and we got bylines and post meta metadata. Here's what that refers to. This information here. After each of your blog post titles, you have bylines and post metadata. The font here is what that refers to. And that's in this section here, inherit, inherited from body. So you could choose whatever you want. Now this code section, this, this is something you won't really use, so you could ignore this. But um, if you want to write code in your pages for whatever reason, but you won't because you're a real estate site, um, this is the font used in that. I'm not going to show you the example because you're not really going to ever use that. Now the other one is multimedia box. Um, remember the video tutorial where I showed you how to put, uh, how to use content up here 
uh, for individual postings that will show up here in a multimedia box. That's what that refers to. If you don't know what that refers to, check out the video tutorial on using your multimedia box and that'll make way more sense. Now, we're almost done. We have our sidebars and we have our sidebar headings, all right? So the, the, the one you choose up here, this is the font of your sidebar, and then the one you choose here is the headings of your sidebar. So here's what that means. The font of your sidebar is the text here, and your headings are your actual widget titles, all right? So your font is up here at the top, and your headings are the bottom section here as you see them labeled, all right? Now we scroll down, and the last one is footer. This one's um, pretty self-explanatory. It's the everything at the bottom of the site. So here's your footer. So everything here is what font you'll choose here if you want to choose a different one. All right. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for using this. Um, I wouldn't really bother looking at everything else. Uh, one more quick thing, if you just happen to want to know, um, let me show you one quick thing regarding your teasers on the home page since we are talking text and fonts. You see this section here that says read the full article? If you want to change that text by default, then scroll down to the bottom and change it here. Link to full article for your teasers. That's what it means. All right. Now, um, these other options for your teasers are just what you want your teasers to display. So title, name, uh, email, category. You can just check these off. These won't break your theme or anything. Or if you want to show your tags on your teasers, you could do that. So give these a whirl if you want to just try them and test them out. But basically, don't touch anything else. Everything else is important to keep as it is for the style and um, layout of your site. All right, so that's pretty much everything. And uh, please make it important to not touch anything else. You really can mess up your site uh, structure and layout the way we built it, which is ideal and uh, perfect, pretty much. So, all right, that makes that's everything on using your fonts. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me there. Otherwise, have fun using your fonts and trying out different styles that you may like for your site. All right. Well, good luck and take care.